What's good, Washington fans? Quick video here. The Washington football team has released uh, Tameric Hemingway. Uh, so, you know, he played very poorly in that preseason game the other day, uh, actually two weeks ago against the um, Patriots, where he got bulldozed and then he dropped a wide open pass. He did not look good at all. Oh um, man, he was in concussion protocol for a bit. He just got out of it a couple of days ago. So Ron Rivera has released him. But this is interesting for the tight end room. This this third tight end spot is definitely an interesting battle now. It's between really Ricky Seals Jones and Sammy Reyes. This this preseason game against the Ravens is going to be huge because I heard in practice the other day Sammy Reyes dropped two passes in the uh, preseason uh, practice uh, in in the eleven on eleven action, and uh, we saw that he bobbled passes against. The uh, Patriots in in the preseason week one game. Now, Ron Rivera did say he's the most physical blocker, and uh, that probably is true. I mean, you look how strong he is and how athletic he is. He probably is the most physical blocker on the roster, probably between him and Logan Thomas. And I think you know Ron does not want to let Sammy's Reyes go because if you do release Sammy's Reyes, he could end up being taken by another team, uh, claimed on waivers. You know, there were other teams looking to look to sign him before we picked him up because we we you know we jumped the gun well not jumped the gun but we were we went out there quicker and signed uh, Sammy's Reyes before other teams you know saw it and you know everybody saw that workout at, at, at IMG or Florida or University or wherever it was everybody saw him run that four four or four five forty yard dash and they saw him do those bench reps so we weren't the only team looking at Sammy's Reyes and even though he bobbled those passes he did catch them so the numbers are going to show that he had those two. Uh, decent catches against the Patriots so he's super super talented he's very very raw and I know Ron does not want to let him get claimed on waivers so I do think Sammy's Reyes is going to make the roster I do think he's gonna be tight at number three and they're gonna hope that Ricky Seals Jones can clear waivers and that they can keep him on the roster as tight at number three and then I think what they're going to do is put Sammy's on the practice squad so he can learn and get better and be one of those protected players on the practice squad but from what I'm hearing from John Kime and other beat reporters as well, they said that Sammy's has a long way to, way to go, which is understandable. This guy just started playing football. Like, he just started playing football. His first game under the lights was that Patriots game. So he never played football before. Not, uh, I think he played a little bit in high school, but not even that much. And um, d definitely didn't play in college. He was a basketball player, played basketball in college. So he's still learning the game. There's a lot to learn, blocking, learning the plays, catching football, all kinds of stuff. And he's doing pretty good. At, he's doing a pretty good job at it. I mean, he's a hard worker. Did DoorDash, all kinds of stuff uh, before the NFL. So, I mean, this guy is a grinder. And, um, you know, he got emotional in the press conference just talking about being from Chile and how hard of work he is. So, we'll see what happens. So, right now on the roster, we have five tight ends. Logan Thomas, Caleb Wilson, John Bates, Ricky Seals Jones, and Sammy Reyes. We have five tight ends right now. There's a battle for that third tight end spot. And I like Caleb Wilson, too. He, did, he, hasn't, he had a really good college career at UCLA and hasn't done much of, in his pro career but I do like Caleb Wilson. I do want to see him get, him, him get some snaps in the Ravens game. Well, we'll see. Maybe he might get a big catch and have a nice run for a nice uh, touchdown catch. So who knows? Caleb Wilson could definitely be in the mix too or at least make the practice squad. So I'm very intrigued for that last tight end spot. Is it going to be Sam East? Is it going to be um, Ricky Seals Jones? Or is Ron going to uh, just you know keep Sam East on there and then put him on the practice squad? So there's a lot of questions that you know definitely going to be answered in the next coming days. August 31st is... Cut down day. They have to cut the roster down to 53. Then, of course, we play the Ravens on Saturday. And uh, we'll see what happens. I pro I will not be able to get a recap out Saturday night quickly. I'll probably be doing my recap video on Sunday because I got a lot of things to do uh, during that Ravens game. It was Saturday night. And, you know, watching football games are usually not on Saturdays. I'm usually more available on Sundays. So I'm, I'm going to try to make it work. You guys just be patient with my recap video for the Ravens game. So be patient. It probably will not be coming out until su Sunday morning. But just wanted to do a quick video talking about uh, Tamara Hemingway being released, which is not a surprise. He was the tight end number two at one point. Um, a lot of people were hyping up. He got in fights with Chase Young and Montez Sweat and was was playing hard out there. And then the lights came on, didn't play too well, got a concussion. And uh, he's off the protocol now, and now he's released. So we'll see if he does get picked up by anybody else. I, you know, we'll see. You, you just never know. Steve Sims was picked up from the Bills. Uh, keep that in mind. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be decent for the, for the Bills. I think he's gonna be decent. You know, Cole Beasley. Um, you know his situation. He's he's in he's in um, the COVID protocols right now. And Steve Sims will get an opportunity. We'll see how he does. He, he I think he has a decent chance to make that roster. And, and the Bills they love small, short slot receivers like Cole Beasley. They had John Brown. Um, you know, and of course they have Stefan Diggs, who's, who's six foot, six feet, six foot one, but they like those little small speedy receivers like Steve Sims. So, all right, so you guys, let me know what you guys think about the really, about the release. Not much of a surprise. And I will be doing a preview video later today, preview, previewing 
the Washington football team versus Ravens game. So just a quick uh, roster update. And then we did uh, sign John Toth again, the male model, who is, who is a center uh, right now trying out for the Washington football team. So we'll see. He probably will not make the roster. He's just going to be a body right now for the uh, preseason game. All right, you guys, hail to the football team. Peace.